we'll start here. And this is from GQ. So maybe we're uh, we're gonna get some men's fashion tips, you guys. Or maybe we're gonna see Keith Olbermann dressed up in, a, in an American flag. I don't know, I'm seeing this article for the first time. That's the concept of this show. So who knows, maybe it's up, it's not. It's about the masters. Uh, so there is not, what I am getting is a big spam thing here. All right, cool, GQ is spamming me so I can't read the article, uh, which is not surprising. Yep, there they go again. I don't want a year of GQ, no thank you. This is about the Masters golf tournament in case any of you are having trouble sleeping. Sorry, I, I think golf is the most, the only thing more boring than playing golf is watching golf in my humble opinion. And uh, the older I get, the more I despise golf. Um, yeah, I, I really hate golf. And here's why, I hate golf because it is such First of all, and we did an episode about this on Five Chords and the Truth, my music podcast, because they did this article about rock stars who golf. And the whole reason of that article was basically being like, hey, if you like golf, it's okay. Some of these rock stars like golf. Basically an article for the baby boomers where it's like, hey, did you not have enough fun in the 70s? Well, here's something to make you feel a little less guilty about it while you're at your golf club lamenting. Because that's when you're really rich and you're at your golf club, that's the only thing that's weighing on your mind. The thing that's weighing on your mind is the fact that, hey, I never did anything brave or cool with my life. And I'm going to die in 20 years. And I don't know what the hell to do about that. And honestly, to me, that's the shittiest mind space to be in. Like, hey, I could have been part of something. I could have protested Nam. I could have like put out my own record. I could have done something creative with my life. Instead, I did what I was told, and yeah, I have some money, and yeah, I go golfing now, but I wonder if I could have been cooler. There are people like that in the world. Now, does everybody that plays golf fall into that category? No, of course not. I have friends that play golf. I have family members that play golf. I know a lot of great people that play golf. I don't share that interest. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to bag on anything. Uh, I'm just not a fan of golf, and it seems like a lot of you guys are not fans of golf either. So uh, we're preaching to the choir here. But, but yeah, golf is an elitist sport. And you know what else really bothers me about golf is that uh, there's a lot of racism in golf. Like, like there are still clubs out there where they don't let you in because of your background. Like, I mean, I literally, all right. So my sister's boyfriend's family is Jewish. And he was talking about this, and he golfs, the, the dad does. I think my sister's boyfriend does too, I'm not sure. But, uh, but uh, his dad golfs, and he's a big golfer. It's his big thing. And he was talking about this one club he wanted to go in. I don't remember where it was. It was somewhere around the world. And he was saying how great that club is and how he'd love to play there, but he can't. And I was like, oh, well, why can't you play there? And I thought he was going to say something about how, like, it's really hard, whatever. It's hard to get in. It's real expensive. And he literally said, and he, didn't, he was like, well, because I'm Jewish. Like, there are clubs out there. They are still, like, they don't let you play if you're Jewish. Where I, where I grew up in Pittsburgh, there are clubs that, like, if you're Italian even, they don't let you in. Like, that's how, like, like, like I guess, waspy, for last, lack of a better way to put it, they are like like they don't let you if you're if you're a certain European ethnicity they don't let you in if you're Jewish they don't let you in uh, if you're black they don't let you in uh, and that's just sort of commonly accepted they don't overtly say it they just are like oh no we don't I'm sorry so that still goes on in golf so we passively accept discrimination and racism in golf um, so yeah. Edwin gives a disclaimer here. The article is about the master's clothesline and its store. It's disgusting, Ron. So Edwin shared this for the purpose of it being disgusting. So let's all get grossed out. For seven days a year at Augusta National Golf Club, golf fans descend upon the master's golf shop to score rare hats, polos, and some unnecessary memorabilia. I would say it's all unnecessary, but that's just me. Uh, and if this person is really speaking out against like golf clothesline in GQ, uh, Jake Wolf isn't going to have a job much longer. But let's go ahead and look at uh, look at what this article is about. On April 2nd, Augusta National Golf Club, home of the Masters, unveiled a brand new state-of-the-art store for patrons of the 2018 tournament. Oh, no, it's just an advertisement. 
If you've ever been to a golf tournament, you know how heavily branded gear is almost a requirement. If you don't buy the gear, you're not cool. Buy the gear so you can be cool. Remember in the 70s when you weren't when you weren't brave enough to ask that hippie chick out and she moved on and you wonder what it would have been like to maybe just do something crazy with her? Maybe you could have went to Woodstock, but instead you filed your taxes Remember, and then remember when you were like, oh, Jimmy Buffett's kind of cool. And remember when you passed up on your chance to see Jim Morrison live? Remember that? Remember how you, you, you wonder about that? Now you're divorced three times and you have money in the bank, but you wonder what you could have been. Well, you like golf because of all that. And, and you got to buy some shit or you're really not cool. You're really not cool. You, you missed out on all the coolest things decades had to offer. And remember when your kids were like, hey, dad, did you, were you part of this? And you were like, no. Hey, dad, did you ever get into Beefheart? No. Hey, dad, did you ever check out Zappa? No. Hey, dad, did you ever go to a Jethro Tull show? No. Hey, dad, did you ever, you had to say no to your kids about all this. You wasted it all. So you better buy this golf gear or you're really screwed. That's who they're talking to. That's who they're talking to. This new dedicated master store is different. It's a pop-up retail temple that puts even Kanye West globe spanning the life of Pablo shops to shame. There are almost 400 mannequins in the space, 64 registers, and 125 varieties of goofy fucking hats. Wear your goofy golf hat. Jesse says, hey dad, did you ever get laid? No, binary fishing. The club itself has taken small steps to become more exclu- inclusive. Bullshit. No, it hasn't. The retail experience for its most prestigious tournament remains prohibitive. Prohibitive. The store is only open for seven days a year and in just one location. You got to go to Augusta, Georgia now to get it. All right. Did you guys get enough of this shitty commercial? I think we get the gist. <laughs> what a dumb commercial. What a dumb commercial. What a dumb tournament. If this is something you need in your life, I feel sorry for you. I really do. And I'm not saying I'm like, so, hey, I'm just trying to navigate life the best I can. I'm open to new experiences. I want to learn. I want to evolve. But holy shit. Oh, man. Get this dumbass polo shirt because it's only at this store seven days a year. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on Patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.